have you ever spent hours of editing and polishing your video just for it to not look that good in the end well this editing secret can make the difference between a bad video and a good one the simple trick is add movements to your video they can make your video so much more pleasing to watch but a lot of people neglect this fact so in today's video i'm gonna teach y'all how to do good movements in your video since it can break or make a video so let's get started okay so now let's say this is your final edit it's looking pretty plain pretty boring it's not pleasing to watch at all so what you can do to fix it is simply add movements so first before adding your movements just make sure to put a marker between every clip switch what i mean by that is just scroll to, through your timeline and every time a clip switches to another like this one make sure to put a marker like this make sure to be really accurate about this because it'll be important later on so now do this for the rest of your edit okay so first what i'm gonna do now is cut my clip right there because i don't want the movements of this shot in particular to affect the next shot so to avoid that all i'm gonna do is separate these two shots now i can start doing my movements in this clip right there so first to make my zoom out what i'm gonna do is add one keyframe of position right there and one keyframe of scale at the same place and i'm gonna go a little bit further and add another keyframe of position like this and another one of scale at the same place of my second keyframe of position so now i'm gonna go over to my first keyframe of scale and i'm gonna scale it up now go on position and position it once you position it just play play the video as you can see there is a movement but it's it's way too fast in my liking so what i'm gonna do to make it slower you're just gonna have to put the keyframe further like so Make sure the scale keyframe and the position keyframe is always at the same place. Okay. And to make the movement smoother, what you're going to do is simply add a graph. So I'm going to add this kind of graph. And once you add this graph in your position, make sure to add the same graph in your scale for the movements to have the same pace. Now this is better. Now what I'm going to do is a zoom in at the end of my clip. So what I'm going to do is go and move and transform, go at the end of this shot right there and add one keyframe of scale and one keyframe of position. So I'm going to go over on scale and scale it up to make the zoom in. And I'm going to move it all the way to the right, like so. Okay. So all I'm going to do now is add my graph between these two keyframes. So then again, add the same keyframe that you use for the position into the scale like this. Now this is how it looks. It looks good. So now what I'm going to do is do the transition over to this shot right there. So now in this shot, I want to make a zoom in So what I can do is add one keyframe of skill at the beginning and one keyframe of position at the beginning also then move it move my timeline a little bit further then put another keyframe of scale right there and a keyframe of position at the same place so now i'm gonna go over to this first keyframe and scale down scale down my video and position it like this for the final step i'm just gonna add a graph again add the same graph that you put on position into your scale like so this is how it looks and to make it look better you can add your motion blur this will make it look 10 times better now what i'm gonna do next is um, a rotation so what i'm gonna do is uh, do a simple zoom 
zoom in with the rotation to make some variation in my movements. So now what I'm going to do is go and move and transform, go on rotation. I'm going to add one keyframe right there where my uh, keyframe of position and scale ended. I'm going to put another one right there where I want my zoom in to occur. And then I'm going to put another one here. Then you're going to do the same for your position keyframes and your scale keyframes simple now the middle keyframe will be where your zoom will occur now all you have to do is zoom in and position your your clip the way you want it so, and then just do a simple rotation like this and simply add the graph between all of your keyframes to make it smoother like so yeah. now this is how it should look like and yeah this is basically the basics of movements in your video this is dynamic and pleasing to watch you can apply the same technique to the rest of your video just make sure that the movements are versatile and that to just don't do zoom in and zoom out and you'll be good as you can see simple movements made a big difference on how the video turned out and how dynamic it is so i hope the video was helpful enough to make you guys level up your editing skills and if it was don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel leave a like go ahead and follow me on instagram on tiktok and also if you're an editor on i like motion don't hesitate to buy my vfx pack link in the description if you want to see more videos like this don't hesitate to check out my channel and see you in another video